Ah, shit, here we go again, worst place in the world. You said it, Joe, but hey, at least we've got some experience this time around. Yeah, and I heard they've added a bunch of new content. Should make things interesting. Well, I hope they've added some new ways to get out of here. They better have. I'm not planning on being stuck in these back rooms forever. Don't worry, we've got this. We just have to stick together and keep our cool. But yeah, let's just hope we don't get caught by the former Queen of England like last time. Speaking of sticking together, where did Donald go? Joe, I'm literally on your right. Well, would you look at that? They've updated everything except this part of the game. The key is still here. That's our luck right there. I can't believe no one has touched this part. It's like they forgot about it. Good for us, though. Why can't I get on the stairs? Joe, look, Barack is already in the animation to retrieve the key. Joe, what the fuck are you doing? Seriously, Joe, we just explained that you can't go up there. Yeah, but I thought maybe it was a glitch or something. The only glitch is you, Joe. Come on, guys, we need to focus on getting out of here. Yeah, you're right, let's just move on. Good, we don't have time to waste on glitches, real or imagined. Guys, I'm not feeling so hot. We need to find the exit door ASAP. What's the rush, Joe? Last time we played, I was killed by the previous Queen of England right by the exit. Yikes, that's brutal. Yeah, that was funny as shit, not gonna lie. Yeah, it's no joke. We need to be careful. Guys, just a heads up, if you hear a knock-knock, that means the antiquity is not very far away. The antiquity? What the fuck are you talking about again? It's another name for the Queen of England in this game. Joe, why are you just standing there? You look like you're possessed or something. If this is because you've been playing VR chat again, I swear I'll text your wife to beat the shit out of you. Donald, I don't think he can hear you. Something's wrong. Oh, sorry guys, I just saw a huge wasp in my office. It came in through the window and I just froze. A wasp? You stopped playing because of a wasp? Yeah, it was massive. I didn't want to risk getting stung. Can't blame you there. Those things can be nasty. Right, let's focus and make sure we avoid the queen. <clears throat> oh, I fell again! This is the same place I fell last time. Yeah, it's a tricky spot. I also fell this time. Is it even possible to get across? I managed to do it last time, but it's true that it's difficult to keep your balance, especially when you're overweight. Are you calling me fat? I'm just stating a fact, Donald. Well, maybe if the game wasn't so glitchy, I wouldn't have fallen in the first place. It's not the game's fault, Donald. You just need to be more careful and healthy. All right, we're in the garage now. We need to find the resource and count how many cars are of each color to enter the code on the elevator. Great, another puzzle. I hate puzzles. What the fuck, Donald? There's literally only four cars to find. Are you stupid or something? I'm not stupid, Barack. I just don't like puzzles. Come on, guys. Let's just find the cars and get out of here. Aha, I've got it. The code for the elevator is two red and two blue. Fantastic. That should do it. Let's get out of this garage. I was starting to think we'd be stuck here forever. Okay, guys, listen up. The next level is going to be really challenging. We're going to the garage, but this time there are skin stealers. Yeah, I remember those creepy things. They mimic human appearance, right? That's right. They can take our skins and use them as disguises. Last time, that was a close call with one of those skin stealers. Exactly, so we need to be extra careful this time. The objective is to find four keys scattered around the map. And then we take them to the center of the map and open the door by turning the keys at the same time, like launching a nuke. I remember that. It took us a while to get it right last time when I was playing alone. Man, I could really go for 18 Big Macs and a McDonald's salad right now. Donald, we're in the middle of a game. We need to focus on escaping these back rooms first. Yeah, I know, but I'm just saying it would be nice to have a little snack break. A snack break? 18 Big Macs is not a snack. And do you really think that one salad is going to make a difference after all those Big Macs? Well, you've got to have some balance, right? Balance or not, we've got bigger fish to fry right now. Let's keep our eyes on the prize and get out of here. Fine, but I'm ordering that as soon as one of you goes AFK. You do you, Donald. Just make sure we get out of here first. I could go for some ice cream myself. For fuck's sake, guys, we're not ordering food. Let's get back to the game. All right, all right, let's find those keys. And watch out for those skin stealers. Well, 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 look who's got the first key. Just three more to go, and we're out of this dump. I'm just saying, I'm on fire today. I'll have the next key before you know it. Don't get too cocky. Your luck's bound to run out sooner or later. I swear, once we're out of here, I'm hitting up the nearest McDonald's. I could murder a Big Mac right about now. There you go again with your Big Macs. Are you sponsored by McDonald's or something, Donald? 
Save your appetite for after we escape. Shit, guys, there are skin stealers all over this damn place. What's the matter, Donald? Scared you'll lose your toupee? Fuck off, Joe. This is serious. We need to watch our backs. He's right. These things will rip your face off if you're not careful. I've faced scarier opponents in beer pong. This isn't a frat party, Joe. These things will mess you up. Can't be any worse than the tax code, right? You might have a point there. Just shut the hell up and help us find the keys. And remember the code word is Eagle. Eagle Schmeagle, if I see one of those fuckers, I'm hightailing it out of here. Joe, for the love of God, just stick to the damn plan. No can do, Donald. I'm a free spirit. Will you two shut up and focus? Damn straight. Keep your eyes open and watch your ass. And if anyone sees a McDonald's, let Donald know. He's starting to look a little hangry. Joe, if you don't shut your pie hole, I'm gonna shove a Big Mac down your throat. Listen up, the damn skin stealers are around, but I don't see those sneaky bastards. This could be our chance to haul ass to the exit room. Well, shit, why didn't you say so sooner? Let's get the fuck out of here. Hold on, we can't just run in blindly. We need to be smart about this. Barack's right, these things are like ninjas. One wrong move and they'll be on us like white on rice. Ninjas, my ass. I've had scarier encounters in the Senate bathroom. Well, the Senate bathroom doesn't have face-ripping monsters, so keep your guard up. All right, I found the last key. It was hidden in the clothes. Fucking finally. Let's get these keys in and get the hell out of here. Couldn't agree more. My ass is starting to cramp up. Okay, everyone, on my count, we turn the keys. Ready? Ready as I'll ever be. Let's do this shit. Freedom, here we come. All right, listen up. The next stage is going to be a bitch. There's almost no light, and we have to find an elevator that's hidden behind a door. Plus, there are three floors to go down, which means a ton of doors to search through. Great, just fucking great. Like, this shit wasn't hard enough already. Maybe we'll get lucky and find a legendary item or something. Yeah, maybe, but don't count on it. We'll have to use our flashlight for the moment. What if our light die? Then what? I don't think it's possible anyway. So what's the plan? Do we split up or stick together like a bunch of scared kids? Look, splitting up might cover more ground, but it's also a goddamn death wish. Yeah, if one of us runs into those skin stealers, we're screwed. But if we don't split up, we might not find that fucking elevator in time. Look, it's better to be alive and together than dead and apart. I'm with Barack. There's safety in numbers, even if it means dealing with Donald's bitching. Fine, let's stick together. But if we don't find that damn elevator soon, I'm going solo. Deal. Now let's get moving and watch out for those creepy ass- Shit, we've got company. Run! Donald, open the fucking door. We need to hide. Fuck that! I'm not opening the door and getting killed, too! You son of a bitch, open the damn door. No way, Joe. You're on your own. Donald, you're a fucking coward. Better a coward than dead. All right, let's find a way out of this shithole. Upstairs or downstairs? Barack said it's probably down. Remember, the monster is still out there. Be careful. Thanks, Barack. We won't forget you. Yeah, rest in peace, buddy. I mean, you can still live once we finish this one, but yeah. What the hell? Why is there a can floating in the air? That was one of the items Barack had on him when he died. Shit, that means we're close to the monster. Yeah, we need to be extra careful. The monster might- Fuck, fuck, fuck! Shit, shit, shit. I need to find the exit. Welcome to the afterlife, Joe. Sucks, doesn't it? This is fucking bullshit! Yeah, now we just have to watch Donald's gameplay until he finishes or dies. I can hear you guys. Holy shit, there's the fucking exit. Can't believe I didn't find this shithole sooner. Time to say goodbye to this nightmare. Sweet freedom. About damn time, Donald. We thought you'd never make it. Yeah, were you taking a nap or something? Fuck off, guys. It's not like you did any better. Touché, but remember, we're dead. We have an excuse. I feel like I'm in a damn time loop. Wasn't I just here? Yeah, when you wouldn't shut up about your new PC. At least I didn't ask a million questions like you did, Joe. Hey, I just wanted to make sure I was getting the best. Yeah, and all roads led to NVIDIA. Too late, I hope your CPU overheats. Joke's on you, I got water cooling. Whatever, nerd, let's just find the exit. Agreed, I'm tired of looking at your ugly mug. Feelings mutual, old man. Do you remember this room? Unfortunately. That's where you totally fucked up with those switches. Fuck you, Joe, those switches were like a goddamn Rubik's Cube. Or maybe you're just a fucking idiot. At least I don't have dementia. I hope the passwords for the doors are still in the same place. Yeah, they should be. This game doesn't update that often. Joe, how fucking long is it gonna take for you to open that damn door? Hold your damn horses. I'm working on it. We don't have all fucking day. We need to get the hell out of here now. 
I fucking know, Donald. Just give me a goddamn minute. A minute? We don't have a minute, Joe. Hey, Barack, would you move your doo-doo ass from the door? Seriously, who designs a place like this? A door that leads to utter darkness? Genius. The same kind of genius that voted for you, Joe. You know what, Donald? Fight me. I'd rather not catch whatever old man disease you've got. Ha ha, very funny. I'm dying of laughter over here. Not yet, you're not, but give it time. Fuck you, Donald. Donald, is the password I heard you or wear cheese? It's I heard you. Why? Is there a problem? Just making sure I got it right. This PC is asking for a password to open the door. Yes, I'd like to order 50 Big Macs, 40 cheeseburger, 20 McChicken sandwiches, 15 large fries, 50 chicken wings, and a salad. Yeah, just throw the salad in there for balance. Are you even human at this point? Donald, for the love of God, stop ordering and use both hands to play the game. I'm multitasking, plus I'm starving. You're going to eat us out of house and home, literally. What are you going to pay with, your good looks? Yeah, and consider just a salad next time, just a salad. Very funny, guys. I'll remember that when I'm scoffing Big Macs and Freedom. The delivery guy's gonna be here any minute. Let's wrap this shit up. Seriously, are you still on about that fucking food order? We got bigger fish to fry, like not dying. I'm just saying, we need to hustle. Good thing these are the Smiler levels. Smilers? What in the hell are those? They're these creepy fuckers that will rip us apart if we're caught in the dark. Fucking great, just what I needed. And Donald, if the delivery guy shows, tell him to hold on. Will do, but we better make it quick. And for fuck's sake, stay in the light. Speed is key and watch out for the damn smilers. Yeah, Russian don't smile, got it. He said watch out for smilers, not don't smile, dumbass. Joe, are you even using your brain? Yeah, yeah, I got it. Rush, watch for smilers and don't be a dumbass. It's a bit late for that. Focus, for God's sake. We can't afford to screw this up. We got this. Fuck, these dogs are more aggressive than my ex-wife's lawyer. At least the lawyer didn't try to eat you. Focus, guys. We need to unlock fun and get the hell out of here. Unlock fun? More like unlock run for your life. Stop whining, Joe. It's just a game. Just a game? Tell that to the freaking dogs. If we don't hurry, the only game we'll be playing is who gets eaten first. I vote Joe. Screw you, Donald. All right, team. This level drains health fast. Find the generators, turn them on, and unlock the last door. Generators again? Are we electricians now? Enough with the jokes, Joe. This is serious. And watch out for the dogs. They're not man's best friend here. Once the generators are on, the last door will unlock. And then what? Another level? Exactly. Just find those generators and watch out for the dogs. Got it. Find generators, avoid dogs. Simple enough. And remember, if you see a dog, don't try to pet it. Just flash it and run away. Don't worry. I'm not in the mood for playing fetch. There's a dog over there. Someone start the generator while I blind it with my flashlight. Where the hell did you guys vanish to? I turn my back for a split second and suddenly it's a solo mission. Chill, we hit a room thinking it was the mother load. Turns out it was just a bunch of junk. Nothing useful. Got another one over here. These generators are like my ex. Unreliable and spread out all over the place. Hell yeah. That's the sound of success, my friends. Let's hope it doesn't abandon us like Donald's ex. Nice one, Joe. All right, that's two down, one more to go, and watch out for those damn dogs. They have a taste for politicians. Don't worry, Barack. I've got my secret weapon, this dazzling personality of mine. Works wonders on dogs and voters alike. Is that why you lost the election, Donald? Ha, ah, very funny, Joe. At least I don't need a teleprompter to string two sentences together. Barack, what the fuck happened here? I don't fucking know. One second I'm kicking ass, the next I'm on the floor, dead as disco. This game's a fucking nightmare, man. You're telling me. I've had drunken binges that made more sense than this shit show. We can't just sit here. You think you can still do something useful from wherever the hell you are? I'll give it a shot, Donald, but no fucking promises. This afterlife stuff is a whole new ball game. Fuck this level. Seriously, fuck it. I'm cutting all this shit out in the edit. Not a fan, huh? It's a fucking nightmare. Just wait till you see the next level. It's all about stealth. Stealth? Like Metal Gear Solid stealth? Yeah, there are cameras everywhere, and if they see us, it's game over. We need to collect all the items without being spotted. Easy for you to say. You're not the one who has to float around like a fucking ghost. Hey, at least you can go through walls and shit. 
That's got to count for something. Donald's right. We should be grateful for what we've got. Some people have it worse. All right, this is the part where we have to count the number of objects in the room and input that number into the dispensers. What, like every single object? Yeah, every single one. If we get the number wrong, we'll be here all day. Even though I already played this part, that's fucking ridiculous. Who designed this shit? Probably some sadistic game developer who gets off on our suffering. Well, let's get counting. I don't want to spend any more time here than we have to. Agreed. And remember, no guessing. If we're not sure about the number, we double check. We're almost there, just a few more damn items to go. For the love of all things fried, you guys better be counting your blessings, I'm here. Doors open, chop chop. Jesus, it's like we just did a bloody Iron Man. All this for a door. Quit your bitching, Joe, just be glad we're not dead. You're welcome, by the way. Yeah, yeah, don't pull a muscle patting yourself on the back, Donald. Cut the shit, we've got more hell to walk through, move your asses. And keep your eyes peeled. Who knows what kind of fucked up shit's waiting for us. As long as it's not another goddamn puzzle, I'm golden. Sorry for zoning out there, just had to deal with a mountain of food. Let me guess, enough to feed a village? Preparing for the apocalypse? All right, we all remember what happened last time. We saw what happened when you got spotted by the cameras, Joe. The door wouldn't open and we wasted so much time. Man, the smell of these McDonald's bags is just taking over my room. Pure bliss. I can almost smell your greasy desperation through the screen. You guys are killing me. I'm trying to diet over here. Diet, what are you, a teenage girl before prom? Yeah, and Donald is the prom queen with his McDonald's crown. Well, just make sure you don't grease up your keyboard and screw us over. Can't believe you just did that, Donald. Do you have any idea what you've just done? Did what? I didn't do anything. I was just walking, for God's sake. Bullshit. The screens went red the second you took a step forward. You tripped the damn alarm. Are you even paying attention? Well, excuse me for not having eyes in the back of my head. These cameras are hidden better than a needle in a haystack. That's not the point, you crazy bastard. You need to be more careful. This isn't a game. Well, technically it is, but you know what I mean. Our lives are on the line here. I'm being careful. It's not my fault the damn cameras are hidden better than Waldo in a Where's Waldo book. They could be anywhere. All right, listen up, you bunch of misfits. I'm about to press the damn button to reset these godforsaken cameras. All right, team, listen up. The door's open and we need to move our asses now. Let's not dick around and get out of this godforsaken level. Eyes peeled, heads on a swivel, and let's do this shit together. Oh, great. This damn level. I remember this one like a bad hangover. Those freaking moths. We need to find them, squash them, and get their gel to reveal the keys. It's going to be one hell of a ride, boys. I hate moths as much as I hate Joe, but if that's what it takes to get to the next level, then so be it. Let's arm up, hunt down these moths, and get their gel. All right, team, let's get this straight. There are no king moths or giant moths in this level, so we're in the clear. But remember, that doesn't mean we can just waltz through here without a care in the world. We still don't know if there is some dangerous update about this level. No giant moth? Well, that's a relief. But let's not get too comfortable. These smaller moths can still pack a punch. Let's squash them, grab the gel, and get out of here. Good point, Donald. We can't afford to be complacent, even if the big guys aren't around. Donald, how in the world did you crack that puzzle so quickly? I was completely stumped. Oh, it was a piece of cake. You just had to click on the tables from the youngest to the oldest. I was too busy trying to figure out if there was some sort of pattern with the chairs or something. Nah, sometimes the simplest solution is the right one. You just have to look for the right clues. Hey guys, have you seen this? There's a bat symbol on this rectangle of gel. Do you think it has anything to do with Halloween or something? That's strange. I hadn't noticed that before. Maybe it's some kind of clue for the next puzzle. Could be. Halloween is associated with bats, and bats are nocturnal creatures. Maybe it's a hint that we need to do something in the dark. Hmm, that's an interesting theory. Let's keep that in mind and see if we come across anything that requires us to turn off the lights or something. Good idea. Let's keep our eyes peeled for any more clues or symbols that might be related. All right, team, we've got all the keys. Time to unlock the door and move on to the next level.
I have to say, the elevator music they have playing while we wait to get to the next level is quite relaxing. It's a nice change of pace from all the chaos we've been dealing with. You're telling me I was half expecting some intense battle music to get us pumped up for the next challenge. Honestly, I'm not complaining. A little calm before the storm never hurt anyone. True that. Let's just enjoy it while we can. Who knows what awaits us on the next level? My money's on more puzzles. Don't even joke about that, Donald. I've had enough of puzzles to last me a lifetime. Holy fucking shit! God damn it, that fucking skin stealer took me out. You pricks better not screw this up. Chill out, Barack. We got this. Yeah, we're not gonna let that bastard get away with it. Joe, where the hell are you? Watch your damn back. Those skin stealers are sly motherfuckers. Holy shit, that was too close for comfort. Stupid dog almost had me. But did you see that? A skin thief and a dog? It's like they're teaming up against us. Just focus, Donald. We can't afford any mistakes. We're already a man down. Yeah, yeah, I know, but that dog had some serious rabies or something. It was foaming at the mouth. Doesn't matter. We need to move on and get the next code. Let's go. Wait, let me catch my breath. That was a close call. Donald, I need a status report. Where exactly are you right now? Chill the fuck out, Joe. I'm just trying to navigate through this godforsaken maze close to the spawn point. I'll find my way back. Spawn? There's only one, you dumbass. How the hell can you be lost? Listen, Joe, I know there's only one fucking spawn, but this place is a bloody labyrinth. I'm using the term spawn to keep track of where the fuck I am, all right? For fuck's sake, why aren't there any weapons in this damn game? How the hell are we supposed to defend ourselves against those entities? Even if there were weapons, it wouldn't make a difference for you, Joe. You couldn't hit the broad side of a barn. Oh, fuck off, Donald. I could outshoot you any day. Yeah, right. The only thing you're good at shooting is your mouth off. Just watch me. The next time we see a skin stealer, I'll take it down with my bare hands. I'd pay good money to see that. But for now, let's just focus on finding those yellow papers and getting the hell out of here. Hey, Barack, quick question. Are we dealing with two skin stealers in this building, or is it just the one? Just the one, but don't let your guard down. This one is sneaky and silent, so you won't hear it coming until it's too late. Fucking fantastic. Just what I needed to hear. We've been in tighter spots before. As long as you guys stick to the plan and watch each other back, you'll be fine. I just hope Joe doesn't find a gun if there is one in the game so he doesn't accidentally shoot one of us in the foot. His goal is terrible. Very funny. I think there's only one of those fuckers, but who knows with this game. Hey guys, you think it's okay if I eat this gel I collected from the moths earlier? Are you out of your fucking mind? That gel is not for eating. That gel is meant to be used as a key for the next level. Eating it would be a terrible idea. Yeah, but I'm starving. We haven't eaten anything since we started this game. That's because it's a game, Donald. We don't need to eat in here. Also, you literally order an entire village, you fucking blub. Fine. But if I die of starvation before we finish, I'm blaming you guys. If you die, it won't be from starvation. It'll be from doing something stupid like eating that gel. Hey, Joe, do you have any idea how many of those yellow papers we've managed to collect so far? We've been scouring this level for what feels like an eternity, but I feel like we're not even close to having all of them. Well, I just took a count, and it looks like we've got five of them. But don't worry, we'll find the rest. We just need to keep our eyes peeled and stick together. Five? That's it, damn. At this rate, we're going to be stuck in this level for the rest of our lives. You know, Donald, if you didn't insist on pausing every five minutes to chow down on a Big Mac and a cheeseburger, maybe we'd be making better progress. Have you ever thought of that? Motherfucker! <laughs> Fucking hell, I just realized that I should have hidden in the wardrobe instead of turning around. And to answer you, Barack, a man's got to eat to keep his strength. You wouldn't want me to waste away to nothing, would you? What, are you Big Smoke now? All right, folks, let's take a breather. I'm pulling up a walkthrough video. I'm not spending another goddamn hour running around in circles in this hellhole. A walkthrough? What the fuck, Donald? Where's your sense of adventure, man? And what about our intellect? Aren't we supposed to be using our brains to figure this shit out? Look, I love a good challenge as much as the next guy, but there's a fine fucking line between a challenge and a colossal waste of time. I want to get the hell out of this level, and I want to do it now. Fine. But if you're going to pollute your brain with some annoying-ass YouTuber's voice, at least have the courtesy to use headphones. 
I'm trying to concentrate here. Joe, concentration won't be necessary once I've got the route all figured out. All you'll need to do is follow my lead and we'll breeze right through this level. Just promise me you won't do anything stupid while I'm watching this video. Oh, so now I'm the stupid one just because I don't want to cheat my way through the game? It's not cheating. It's called being resourceful. And besides, with those giant moths lurking around, we can't afford to take any unnecessary risks. Fine. But if we get caught by one of those moths because we're too busy following your so-called resourceful strategy, I'm blaming you. Deal. But trust me, once I've got the route down, those moths won't even know we were there. Honestly, if I had a dollar for every time you led us straight into trouble, I'd be a fucking millionaire by now. I can't believe I'm trusting you again. Well, if you had a dollar for every time you complained, we'd be even. Now quit your bitching and start following me. I still don't understand why we can't have any weapons in this fucking game. What kind of fucked up world is this? The kind where you'd probably shoot yourself in the foot if you had a gun, that's what kind. Well, would you look at that? Our very own Joe acting like he's the moth whisperer or something. Who knew that standing up was the universal sign for, hey, come chase and kill me, you giant flying beast? Oh, just fuck off, Donald, like you've never fucked up in this godforsaken game before. Well, not as spectacularly as you just did. I mean, Christ, even a toddler knows to stay crouched when there are giant fucking moths around. I hope a moth lays its eggs in your hair and when they hatch, the larvae burrow into your brain. Yo, that's disgusting, Joe. Barack, where in the name of all that's holy are you? I'm history, man. I died about a minute ago. These monsters don't mess around. What the hell? How the fuck is that possible? You were right behind me. I got nabbed by this colossal moth. It took me to this dreadful, hellish room, the likes of which I've never seen. How is that even possible? Dead serious. That room was swarming with these grotesque, giant moths. They just enveloped me, and there was no escaping them. Okay, guys, I know you're both dead and everything, but I just wanted to let you know that I'm still looking at the walkthrough, and from what I can see, the exit isn't too far off now. Well, that's just fucking great, isn't it? I'm dead, Joe's dead, and you're there watching a goddamn walkthrough. What a team we are. Well, I can't believe we made it out of that hellhole alive. Giant moths. Who would have thought? Yeah, but I'm not sure our luck is going to hold up. Have you seen the name of the next level? Yeah, fun. The name is a fucking joke. It's like calling a war zone a playground. So what's the deal with this level? What are we up against? I don't remember what happened. It's like a part of my memories got deleted for this video. From what I've heard, this level is filled with entities that devour you in every way imaginable. It's going to be rough. Party goers, great. Just what we need. Another hellhole filled with some of our previous nightmare. I can't believe we've almost played all the games. We're really on fire today. Joe, you fucking moron. They've added new levels since the last time we played. I seriously need to reassess my life choices. Why is it always us who end up in these terrifying situations, running for our lives? Maybe it's a sign that we're really just unlucky, or perhaps the universe has a twisted sense of humor. Calling this bad luck is the understatement of the century. We've got to be cursed or something. Or maybe it's karma for all the bad jokes we've made over the years. You know what they say, what goes around comes around. I can't believe I had completely blocked out this music. It's like all the memories are flooding back at once. Yeah, it's like a wave of nostalgia. Remember that bet I won against you right here, Joe? Gentlemen, as much as I enjoy reminiscing, we need to focus on the task at hand. And remember, this time we're not running a desert storm operation. No rushing in and getting ourselves killed, all right, Joe? Agreed, Barack. We've got to be smart and strategic about this. Slow and steady wins the race. Easy for you to say, Mr. Strategy. Some of us like to live on the edge. Living on the edge is fine, as long as you don't fall off. Let's keep our wits about us and make it out of here in one piece. I can't believe how small this level is, and it's ridiculously easy. All we have to do is walk while crouching. Seems a bit stupid for such a well-known level. Maybe it's a trap, you know, make us think it's easy, and then bam, hit us with something unexpected. We don't know what kind of shit might happen since there was some update. That's a possibility. They might be trying to lull us into a false sense of security. Or maybe we are just stupid. True, true. Well, if it's a trap, they did a damn good job of making it look easy. All right, let's move out. And remember, stay crouched. Am I the only one who preferred the old party goers design? This design is just too creepy. Yeah, the back rooms aren't necessarily dedicated to horror. It would have been better to keep the childish models. Exactly, and then bam, 
you realize that appearances can deceive you big time. It's like they're trying too hard to be scary. The old design had that perfect mix of innocence and terror. Now it just feels like they're shoving the horror in your face. It's not as subtle. The subtlety was what made it so good. You didn't realize how horrifying it was until it was too late. Yeah, now it's just like every other horror game, jump scares and creepy monsters. I would have liked us to play the very first version of the game before everything changed. The old design had more of a psychological horror element to it. That's what made it unique. All right, enough trash talking. Let's move out. Donald, you big bastard. You weren't supposed to run. It's not my fault. I just wanted to eat one of my fries in the first place. Well, fuck my life. I'm dead, too. Guys, I just had a glimpse of the next level. Embrace yourselves. We're headed to the Mexican pool. Mexican pool? What the fuck are you talking about? That's just a regular pool. Yeah, I remember that level. There was nothing Mexican about it. It's just a pool. Well, I call it the Mexican pool. Adds a little flair to it, you know? You have a weird sense of flair, fat ass. That's classic Donald for you. Always making things more complicated than they need to be. Hey, a little complication never hurt anyone. It keeps life interesting. All right, listen up, you fuckers. We're about to step into what's probably the easiest level in this entire fucked up game. No entities, no dangers, no bullshit. It's going to be a goddamn walk in the park, and I reckon I'll finally have time to devour at least half of my McDonald's meal, which I've been craving for God knows how long. Half of your McDonald's, really? Jesus, you can demolish half a village in three minutes flat, Donald. You sure you don't want to pace yourself a little bit? Man, I've seen this guy in action. He ain't fucking around when it comes to his food. It's like watching a goddamn tornado tear through a city. Hey, a man's got to eat, right? Especially when we're dealing with this twisted, nightmarish game. I need my goddamn energy to face whatever the hell is waiting for us in the next level. You know what? I might also take the opportunity to finally eat my Fran's chocolates that have been sitting next to me this whole fucking time. They've been calling my name and I can't resist any longer. Fran's chocolates, huh? Now that's some high-class shit, Barack. You sure you want to eat those in a place like this? Yeah, aren't you afraid the entities might get a whiff of those delicious chocolates and come running? I don't give a fuck. Let them come. I'll take on any entity that tries to get between me and my chocolates. They're mine and no one else's. Just don't come crying to us when you've got a horde of monsters on your ass. Or when you've eaten too much and can't keep up with us. We're not carrying your ass to the finish line. Don't worry, I can handle my chocolates. And as for the entities, well, they can kiss my ass. I ain't scared of them. Fucking hell, if only I had three arms, two for playing and one to feed myself. Fuck, I can't for the life of me remember what the next level is. But I'm pretty sure it's a chill one, right? We can still eat and not worry about getting killed? Honestly, I've lost track of all these levels. They start blending together after a while. But I sure hope it's a chill one. I'm not in the mood for any more entity bullshit. I hear you, Joe. Let's just hope we get a break this time. I could use a moment to relax and enjoy my chocolates without having to look over my shoulder every second. Amen to that. I'm tired of always being on edge. I just want to eat my fucking Big Mac in peace. Hell, I'd settle for a level where we just sit on a beach and drink cocktails. Now that would be the shit. Well, fuck me sideways. We just got bamboozled, guys. This is the worst fucking level possible. You don't walk, you run, or we're all gonna get eaten. It's fucking run for your life. How the hell did we forget that? You gotta be shitting me. Run for your life? That's the most famous level in this goddamn universe. I can't believe we all fucking forgot about that. Jesus Christ, this is just our fucking luck. We let our guard down for one second, and now we're gonna cardio in the most infamous level in the game. All right, enough chit-chat. We need to fucking run, and we need to run now. Grab your shit, and let's go. Fuck, fuck, fuck. This is bad. Really fucking bad. I don't want to die here, guys. I'm not going to be the next meal for whatever the fuck is chasing us. I can hear it behind us. It's close, guys. Fuck me, that was too close for comfort. But look, we've made it to the next level. Yeah, I remember this level. It's the one with that fucking abomination that'll kill us if we make a single noise near it. Right, so here's the plan. We rush from the beginning, and once that monster starts heading our way, we slow the fuck down. Got it? Got it. We need to collect all the tape and then head to the PC in the center of the room to open the passage to the next level. Exactly, and remember, no fucking noise. We don't want that abomination on our asses. 
All right, guys, let's have a quick recap before we delve into this fucking nightmare. We've got, what, three more tapes to collect? Yeah, I think that's what Barack said before he died. But to be honest, I stopped counting after the 14-1. This place is messing with my head, man. I swear to God, Joe, if you don't stop being such a fucking idiot, I'm gonna lose it. How many times do I have to tell you, do not run? It's like you have cotton stuffed in your ears. Yeah, yeah, I know. Don't run or the monster will catch up and rip us to shreds. I got it. You clearly don't got it. Because if it wasn't for me hitting the alarm to distract that thing, your ass would be dead right now. You should be thanking me. All right, all right, I get it. Thanks for saving my ass, Donald. I'll be more careful from now on, I promise. You better be. We're not in a fucking game where you can respawn if you die. This is real life. If you die here, you're dead. Gone. Kaput. Understand? Until we all die or restart, at least. Holy fuck, I just shit my pants. Yeah, I'm definitely going to full cut this level from the video. Remember, in this level, once it's dark, we need to find a house, turn off all the lights, and hide under the bed, in the wardrobe, anywhere out of sight. Great, darkness and silence, my two least favorite things. Yeah, and these monsters are like little kids throwing tantrums. They're angry, loud, and they won't stop until they get what they want. Exactly. And just like that woman when you don't eat your veggies, these monsters won't stop until they catch us. Well, I guess we better start running then. I don't want to get killed just like last time. Guys, I could totally rush that little van over there. If I hop in and start driving, I can save us a ton of time. Sure, we'd have to walk afterward, but it'll be worth it. Oh, really? And what happens when the van runs out of fuel or we hit a dead end and we're stuck walking anyway? Well, if the van runs out of fuel or we hit a dead end, we'll just have to walk. But at least we would have saved some time by driving part of the way. You're really set on this van idea, huh? Hey, I'm just trying to think outside the box here. We could use all the help we can get. True, but we also need to be smart about it. We don't want to make things worse by attracting unwanted attention. Yeah, I guess you're right. This village gives me the creeps. And it's not because of the architectural style of the houses. It's the fact that every single house looks exactly the same, painted in that dull, monotone color. It's like something out of a dystopian movie. Yeah, it's like they've stripped away any form of individuality or personal expression. And don't even get me started on the curfew. It's like they're trying to control every aspect of our lives. I agree, it's all very Orwellian, but at least we're just passing through and not stuck living here. True, but it makes you wonder what kind of person would choose to live in a place like this. It's almost like they've given up on life. All right, quick head count. Is everyone in a house with the lights turned off? Hunkered down under a bed or stuffed into a closet? Yep, I've wedged myself under this rickety old bed. Dust bunnies are my only companions. Man, this is the creepiest, most bone-chilling hide-and-seek I've ever played. I've taken refuge in a closet. It's tight and cramped in here, and the musty smell is overwhelming. But at least it's safe from those god-awful monsters lurking outside. Good, good. Just sit tight and stay as silent as a mouse. We just need to wait out the night until the first light of day. It should be less than a minute now. This minute feels like an eternity. Every second that ticks by is a reminder that we're at the mercy of those nightmarish creatures outside. All right, team, the crack of dawn is broken. It's time to emerge from your hidey holes. The night is gone, and with it, those nightmarish monsters. Oh, thank God, I thought that night would never end. My back is killing me from being cramped under that bed. At least we can stop hiding like we're Osama bin Laden in his cave. Donald, seriously, how on earth do you plan to devour the monumental feast you've ordered? We're talking about 50 Big Macs, 40 cheeseburgers, 20 McChicken sandwiches, 15 large fries, 50 chicken wings, and for some inexplicable reason, a single salad. Do you have a game plan or are you just going to wing it and hope your stomach doesn't explode? Well, Barack, as we all know, I've been training for this moment my whole life. My stomach is essentially a bottomless pit at this point. I reckon I'll start with the Big Macs, move on to the cheeseburgers, and then tackle the McChicken sandwiches. After that, the fries and chicken wings should be a walk in the park. The salad? Well, that's just there to add a pop of color to the spread. A dent? Donald, that's enough food to supply a small army. I'm genuinely concerned for your well-being at this point. 
Have you considered the possibility that you might, I don't know, explode? And who in their right mind orders a salad alongside such an obscene amount of junk food? What's the thought process there? You see, the salad is my token gesture towards health. It's all about balance, my friend. I mean, I've got to watch my figure somehow, right? Plus, the green of the salad really brings out the color of the burgers and fries. It's aesthetically pleasing. Your figure gave up on you a long fucking time ago, mate. It waved the white flag and surrendered. Ha! Well, at least I can still outrun you, you lazy fuck. When was the last time you saw the inside of a gym? That's because Joe's been weighed down by all the food you keep shoving down his throat. You're like a bad influence in human form. Yeah, thanks a lot for that, by the way. My cholesterol is so high right now, I'm pretty sure I could use it as a flotation device. You're welcome. Now who's ready to tuck into this feast? I don't know about you, but all this talk of food has made me fucking ravenous. Donald, you do realize that all this food, probably scattered across numerous McDonald's bags, is going to stink up the entire room, right? And that's not even considering the fact that the longer we wait, the less tasty it's going to be. Aren't you worried about that at all? Barack, my friend, you underestimate the power of McDonald's food. That shit could survive a nuclear apocalypse and still taste the same. It's practically immortal. Immortal or not, there's no denying the fact that cold McDonald's is a crime against humanity. A crime you seem more than willing to commit given the obscene amount of food you've ordered. Hey, I like to live life on the edge. Plus, nothing beats the taste of victory when you manage to finish a McDonald's feast. Victory? More like a one-way ticket to the hospital. Yeah, I hope you've got your health insurance in order because you're going to need it. Health insurance, please, I'm practically indestructible. Indestructible or not, you're going to have to deal with the wrath of Michelle when she finds out about this. You know how she feels about fast food. Fucking hell, not this level. I still have nightmares about that last time. This is the one with the fucked up clown that comes at us in the dark. He's nearly invisible, like a glitch in the damn game. It's almost like he's part of the shadows, just waiting to pounce. Great, so we just need to park our asses in the right spot and keep our eyes peeled in the same direction. How hard can that be? You say that now, but just wait until that clown starts doing his invisible glitchy shit. It's like trying to spot a needle in a haystack. Well, at least it was a quick death. Ooh, no. Oh, God, no, not this place again. I remember that damn generator we need to spam over and over again just to find the right path. And the worst part is how easy it is to get lost in this maze. Relax, Barack. I've got us covered. I already know the way because I watched a walkthrough for this part. We won't get lost this time. A walkthrough? Again? Seriously, Donald? Don't tell me you're one of those people who relies on walkthroughs to beat games. Hey, don't knock it until you try it. Walkthroughs are a godsend, especially for fucked up levels like this one. Yeah, yeah, whatever you say. Just make sure you're leading us in the right direction or I'm blaming you if we end up getting lost. Trust me, we won't get lost. Just follow my lead and we'll be out of here in no time. I hope you're right because I really don't feel like spending hours spamming that damn generator again. Don't worry, Joe, we've got this. Just stick with me and we'll be fine. All right, everyone, take a deep breath and let's take a moment to strategize. We've successfully recovered the DOT generator, which is a crucial component in navigating this treacherous level. The landscape here is unpredictable and riddled with hidden traps, so we must proceed with the utmost caution. Yeah, and let's not forget about the red dots. Those little buggers are our warning sign that we're being targeted. When you see one, don't think, just crouch and move slowly. It's the only way to avoid getting hit. Got it. Crouch and move slowly when we see a red dot. But just to clarify, are there any specific patterns we should be looking out for? Any telltale signs that we're about to be targeted? That's the tricky part. The red dots can appear at any time without warning. That's why we need to be vigilant at all times. Keep your eyes open and don't let your guard down, not even for a second. All right, we're doing great. Just stay crouched and keep following the radar. That entity won't see us as long as we're quiet. 
This is some serious Metal Gear Solid shit. Hide, sneak, and don't get caught. Easy, right? Yeah, if by easy you mean fucking terrifying. I can still hear that thing's breathing. It's like it's right behind us. Hey, have you guys ever wondered how much one of these DOT generators costs? I mean, look at all these little lights it puts on the walls. It's like we're in a disco or something. Trust me, if we survive this, I'll buy you one and we can turn your living room into a disco. But for now, let's focus on staying alive. I'd rather not know the price. Knowing my luck, I'd accidentally break it and then be in debt for the rest of my life. Donald, are we lost or something? I thought you said you watched a walkthrough of this level, but it seems like we've been walking in circles for the past 15 minutes. I mean, I'm starting to see the same rocks and trees over and over again. That, or we're in a glitchy part of the game. Fuck yeah, I found it. Well, I guess the real challenge begins now. This is where we stopped last time. An aquatic level, huh? I wonder what kind of twisted, messed up sea creatures they've got lurking in the depths. Remember, if it moves, it's probably trying to kill us. Great, just great. From evil clowns to evil sea sharks. What's next, flying snakes? And here I was, thinking we were going to have a nice, relaxing swim. Joe, would you shut the fuck up and get in the goddamn boat already? We're wasting daylight here. Fine, fine, I'm coming. Geez, someone's got their panties in a twist. Hey, don't you think it would be better if we each had our own boat? I mean, we'd be able to cover more ground that way. Nah, it doesn't really make a difference. Plus, it's funnier this way. One guy rowing while two clowns stand around doing nothing. It's like a goddamn circus. Oh, ha ha. Very funny, Donald. Just remember, I'm the one with the paddle. So you better watch your mouth or you might find yourself swimming with the fish. All right, folks, I've got the walkthrough up and running on my phone. Our next objective is just past this damn water. Hopefully it's smooth sailing from here. But knowing our luck, there's probably some sort of aquatic monster lurking beneath the surface, ready to pull us under. I wouldn't count on it being that easy, Donald. If I've learned anything from our past experiences, it's that things only get worse as we go along. I mean, remember that level with the creepy clown? I still have nightmares about that. Yeah, and speaking of things getting worse, I just remembered that I'm not a big fan of water. Especially not dark, murky water where you can't see what's beneath you. So let's try not to capsize, okay? I don't fancy becoming fish food today. Joe, for the love of God, if you rock this boat and get us all wet, I'm gonna throw you overboard myself. We've got enough problems as it is without you adding to them. I'm not the one who's rowing. This is like a free ride for me. I could get used to this. Well, lucky you. Some of us have to do all the work around here. My arms are killing me. All right, team, here we are. Let's get our gear on and prepare to dive. Make sure you've got your respirator masks. We don't know what's down there, and I'd rather not find out what happens if we run out of air. Good call, Donald. I've got my mask right here. I hope this water isn't too cold. I'm not a fan of freezing my ass off. Same here. But at least we've got these wetsuits. They should help keep us warm. I just hope there are no sharks or anything like that down there. Joe, for the last time, there are no sharks in this game. We've been over this. Just focus on the task at hand and stop worrying about imaginary dangers. Yeah, Joe. We've got enough real dangers to worry about without adding fictional ones to the list. Let's just get in there, find what we're looking for, and get out as quickly as possible. You, what the fuck is that? Holy shit, did you guys see that? This game just went from zero to a hundred real quick. Yeah, that was way too close for comfort. I thought we were goners for sure. This cave is absolutely mesmerizing. Have you guys ever seen anything quite like this in all our adventures? It's a testament to the skill of the developers who worked on this level. The intricacy of the designs and the attention to detail is truly top-notch. Yeah, it's almost as if we've been transported to another world entirely. The stalactites and stalagmites, the underground rivers, the way the light reflects off the walls. It's all so beautiful. Beautiful, but let's not forget deadly. The cave may be stunning, but it's also home to some of the most dangerous creatures we've encountered yet. Moths the size of eagles, giants with the strength to crush us with a single blow, and those creepy skin stealers that can mimic our appearance and trick us. Hello? Fuck! Wait a minute, this can't be right. We've already been through this level. How did we end up back at level zero? 
This isn't level zero, Donald. Look at the walls. They're a much darker shade of yellow, and there's dirt and grime everywhere. This is different from what we remember. You're right, Barack. This is strange. It's as if the level has transformed while we were away. The developers must have released an update or something. Either that or we've stumbled into a parallel universe where everything is slightly different. But that seems far-fetched, even for this game. No matter what the explanation is, we need to figure out what's going on and find a way to get back on track. We can't afford to waste any more time. Let's start by exploring the area and see if we can find any clues that will help us understand what's happening. Hey, do you guys remember that entity we encountered back in Level Zero? I think it was called Bacteria, though it didn't really resemble Bacteria at all. Yeah, I remember that thing. It was like a mass of writhing tendrils with eyes that seemed to stare into your soul. I prefer to call it Mr. Internet Cable. I mean, it kind of looked like a bunch of cables all tangled up together, right? That's a pretty apt description, Joe. Whatever we decide to call it, we need to be ready for it this time. We can't let it catch us off guard again. You know, it really baffles me how much of a mystery this bacteria entity remains to us. Here we are, veterans of the back rooms, and yet we still know so little about it. True, Joe. It's as if the back rooms themselves are protecting the secrets of this entity. Every time we think we have a lead or a clue, it just slips through our fingers. Exactly. And the worst part is that it's not just any entity. It's one of the deadliest ones out there. We've seen firsthand the kind of damage it can do. Hey, who's with me right now? Joe, Barack, report your positions. Donald, it's me, Joe. I'm right here, ready for whatever comes our way. Let's tackle this level head on. And as for me, I'm still at the spawn point. I had to take a minute to drink some water and catch my breath. The dehydration was starting to get to me, but don't worry. I'll be catching up with you guys in just a moment. Barack, I need some answers. How on earth did you manage to find yourself in this room? And where in the world did you get that transoner from? Donald, if I'm being completely honest, I'm just as baffled as you are right now. One moment I was at the spawn, sipping on some water. What the fuck? I can't believe my fucking luck today. Every damn time I try to lend a hand, I end up dead in the most absurdly stupid way possible. Well, isn't that just fucking hilarious? It's like you've got a goddamn curse hanging over your head. All right, gentlemen, let's take a moment to assess the situation. We're standing at the threshold of the next level, and there are just two more levers to pull down to grant us access to what lies beyond that gargantuan door. I've got to say, it feels a bit too convenient, doesn't it? Just two levers standing between us and our goal, almost as if they're begging to be pulled. True, but we need to tread carefully. The last thing we want is to trigger some unseen trap that sends us back to the drawing board, or worse, into the clutches of whatever monstrous entities lurk in the shadows. What the fuck is that? I'm having a hard time remembering where the lights came from to enter this damn code. Seriously, Joe, you can also take a screenshot and look at it. Shit. All right, let's do this shit, Joe. You have got to be shitting me, my recording stopped. All that gold, all those near-death fuck-ups and clever quips lost to the ether. Calm down, Donald, it's not the end of the world. We're still here, still kicking, and there's plenty more content ahead of us. Yeah, and speaking of what's ahead, we've got a new mission, folks. We need to round up some bottles for, what did you say it was, decontamination? Decontamination, Joe, it's like exercising demons, but with a scientific twist, and less holy water, more rubbing alcohol, I guess. And where exactly are we supposed to find these bottles? It's not like there's a convenience store around the corner. We'll have to scavenge. Keep your eyes peeled for anything that looks like it could hold a ghost or a deadly pathogen. Yo, what the fuck is that? I'm not gonna die this time, fuck that. Holy shit, it's fucking fast. Holy hell, was that what we were supposed to be decontaminating? Fast little bugger, isn't it? That's one way to put it. Joe didn't stand a chance. We need to be smarter about this or we're next. 
Smarter and faster, I swear that thing moved like a damn shadow. One second Joe's there, the next poof, like a fart in the wind. Can we not equate our potentially deceased friend to flatulence? The man had more dignity than that. Apologies, heat of the moment. But you get my point, we're outgunned or outlegged or whatever the equivalent is when you're up against a teleporting terror. I swear I can hear the footstep of this creature. Well, fuck, that could have ended very badly for me. What happened to you? This disgusting thing passed right by me, Barack. Super slow when she doesn't see us, but the opposite when she does. It's a bit like the Revenant from Phasmophobia. Well, almost. Okay, that was way too close for comfort, but it's in the cage now. Let's finish this ritual and send it back to whatever hell it crawled out of. Impressive sprint, Donald. I guess all those golf outings paid off with some cardio after all. Ha, ah, very funny, Barack. How about you focus on the exorcism? I've done my part. Time for you to do yours. It seems that our friend managed to transform himself back into a human. This place, it's eerily calm. A road with fields and a red sun. Feels like we've stepped into some twisted version of Americana. Yeah, the kind of place you'd expect to see in a movie about alien invasions. It's too quiet. Quiet or not, it's a damn sight better than being chased by whatever that thing was. At least here we can see the sky, even if it's the wrong color. That red sun is unsettling, though. Feels like it's watching us. Yo, what the fuck is that? Is it a peasant? I'm no expert on paranormal agriculture, but I say it's best we keep our eyes wide open. That thing moved with an eerie precision, didn't it? Like it knew exactly when we weren't looking. Makes you wonder what else is lurking out here just out of sight. You know, it's moments like this I really wish I had the situation room and a battalion at my disposal. But since we don't, I suggest we improvise with a strategy. We keep a tight formation. No one strays. Our best defense is vigilance. Yeah, and let's not forget the element of surprise. I say we throw it off its game. I'll talk and act unpredictably. It might confuse whatever's out there. So if I start reciting Shakespeare or singing Broadway tunes, just roll with it. I'm not sure if Shakespeare or your singing will scare it away or draw it in, Donald. But I agree, unpredictability could be our ally here. Let's make it up as we go and keep that thing guessing. It's a 40-year-old bald man, run! We're on the home stretch, I can feel it. Get past this damn field and maybe, just maybe, we can call it a day. Everything's gotta end, even this backwoods Twilight Zone rerun we've stumbled into. Easy, Donald. Overconfidence is a fast track to a personal horror movie moment. We've seen enough to know it's never over until we're back in our own beds with this place just a fading nightmare. I'm all for optimism, but let's keep our guards up and our feet steady. There's a fine line between the end of the ordeal and the start of something worse. You're right, as much as I hate to admit it, but I'll tell you this, when I get out, I'm writing a book. The Art of the Escape, A President's Guide to Surviving the Unsurvivable. It'll be a bestseller. I guess we've earned ourselves a spot in the Hall of Fame. But you know, in every game, when the credits roll, it means it's time to pass the joystick to the next player. Sequel, prequel, reboot, it's inevitable. A sequel, huh? Well, let's just hope it's one of those sequels that take a couple of years to come out. I could use a break, maybe go on an actual vacation, somewhere with sun and no mention of back rooms or entities. Sorry for you, Joe, but the rest may come out very soon. Shit.